Okay, so today we're taking a look at a YouTuber named Calvin Guerra. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, which I imagine isn't a ton of you, Calvin Guerra is a trans man and a YouTuber, and he is often called the Guy Blair White. He is a true scum, he is a trans med, and he is supposedly extremely toxic to the trans community. Supposedly, from what I've heard, he um, I've, I haven't even taken a look at this guy yet. I've just gone off of what you guys have told me. You guys told me to check this dude out. You guys told me he's you guys told me he could be his own entire stream that I could cover him on. Um, but you guys told me that he is really toxic for trans people and that he does a lot of gatekeeping transness. Like he does a lot of like he calls people trans trenders. Um, he does a lot of uh, uh, he, he apparently discriminates against other trans dudes for not being masculine enough while also uh, discriminating discriminating against trans women for not being feminine enough. He's got like um, as you can see from this like image here, he's like a very privileged white trans dude who's got a successful youtube channel and is very and obviously from what we can tell here uh passes very well and so he gets by on being able to um being able to disparage other trans people he's also friends with blair white i'm aware of that um just overall he just imagine everything you don't like about blair white that's this dude and we're gonna check him out so, I did skim over his YouTube channel briefly before getting into this. Of course, the one-month-old obligatory 100k plus views um, Jessica Yaniv video. So, we have that. But if we look at his popular uploads, there's a very obvious trend. Trans guy reacts to crazy trans trender. The worst trans trender I've ever encountered. The TikTok predator and... You, you can't identify as aust autism gender. Trans guy reacts to crazy trans trender again. And you can see this, uh, this one has almost a million views. This one has 1.1 million views, 1.3 million views, and 1.8 million views. So, yeah. This is, um, there's a, there's a clear trend. Get it? There's a clear trend that this guy seems to go about here, um, and I'm going to rant about him very quickly before we get into this. Uh, Zoe Mortal. Yes, I am the scuffed Vosh that you've likely been hearing about. Um, as a matter of fact, if if light, if BreadTube were like the MCU and Vosh was Iron Man, I'm like Spider-Man. But uh, yeah, me and Vosh are pretty good friends. He's a cool dude. He's inspired me a lot. However, one thing I want to talk about before we actually choose a video to watch from him, which we'll probably watch the... Uh, Tra the, the, his most popular video, the trans guy reacts to crazy trans trender. Um, there's nothing I hate more, and I literally hate these people more than actual Nazis, than people who are part of a marginalized group that identify with the group that is oppressing them. So, for example, these... Um, like like Blair White, for example. Obviously, Calvin Guerra apparently fits into this as well, but Blair White's a good example. Blair White, a trans woman who's extremely privileged and passes very well, who identify, who is a conservative and uses their position as a conservative to further an agenda that oppresses trans people. It's really shitty. Um, also, I should probably keep in mind I'm on Twitch now, which means... Can I get banned for criticizing trans people on Twitch? I actually don't know what Twitch will get me for because I'm streaming to Twitch as well. I didn't get it. What does this toxic guy have to do with privilege? Well, he's extremely privileged because he's, uh, for starters, a white, wealthy trans guy, right? So if you're going to be trans, you want to be white and you want to be wealthy because the majority of trans people who are like actually killed are... Um, non-white trans people who are not wealthy. So if you're going to be trans, you want to be like Blair White or Calvin Guerra. They are like as privileged as you can possibly be as a transgender person. Um, this is not like a contentious statement. That's, that's just, that's the case. Um, but I guess we'll start with, uh, 
with this one trans guy reacts to crazy crazy trans trender this is 1.8 million views and it's his most popular video but first i want to actually see um how are we doing on twitch i want to hit 75 viewers on twitch today it's my first time really streaming a twitch we're at 38 here so if you're watching on youtube right now please watch on the website because your views on the website count as twitch viewers okay so so please go to the website i'm starting to kind of see the um the split between youtube viewers and uh, website viewers now okay let's check this out we'll turn up the volume we'll turn it up to 1.5 speed and we'll do this let's yeah, do it probably tell. Uh, bella really wanted to be in today's video so uh She's a star now. Oh, damn. He actually talks pretty quickly. We might not actually have to turn him up too fast, but this is a 26-minute video. We're still turning it up to 1.25. Hey, guys. Calvin here. Welcome back to my channel, where today I'm going to be doing something so requested. Everybody loves my reaction videos, whether they're to old videos of my own, to stupid SJWs on the internet, even mm. to cute dogs like my dog right here. But I was really feeling in the mood to make a reaction video, and I didn't know what to do it on until today when I found the perfect video. Just imagine the scene. I'm chilling at school, doing nothing, as usual. And I'm on YouTube as I am. And I'm looking through my feed, and I find a video. It was just some cringy SJW talking about how she's trans, and so I decided that looks like a great video for me to react to, because if you guys don't know... I should probably mention right now, Calvin Guerra does not think non-binary people are valid. If you are non-binary, or you are... If you are not either a trans woman or a trans man or sis he doesn't think you're valid he thinks you're a trans trender and he'll make a video on you making fun of you also already got the term sjw being thrown around quite a bit more so than it needs to be how yeah how old is calvin Guerra actually um i actually don't know well look up how old he is he looks like he's pretty young oh what the fuck oh wrong i spelled calvin wrong he's on famous birthdays he is oh my god he's younger than me wait what he accepts a gender but nothing more okay wait he's younger than me he was born in 2000 he's 19 no fucking way no fucking way this guy's younger than me. Well, there we go. Oh, God, I'm feeling fucking old. Whew, okay. Well, he's got some very... He, his takes are what I would expect from a 19-year-old. I am a trans guy. I'm 17. I've been in hormones for over a year now, getting top surgery in... 25 days 25 days yo that's nothing vlog soon so i'm not going to waste any okay so just i don't want to harp on like the privilege thing for too long but it is important to clarify this dude is was 17 years old and was lucky enough to have a very successful youtube channel which i'm sure he earned um be able to ha have a family most likely have a family i don't know much about this dude but i imagine because he's so young he has a family that's very supportive of him and is totally fine with him getting like you know transitioning um he passes really well like i look at this dude and this is this video is old this video is like from when he was 17 he's 19 now i would see this dude on the street this man's armpits are hairy as a motherfucker this dude doesn't get clocked he doesn't so he is like the most privileged you can possibly imagine so now he's going to shit all over trans people who are less privileged than he so that's what we're about to see anytime i'm gonna get you guys straight into this video we're gonna go over to my computer and we're gonna watch this video by i think her name is brennan let's get straight into it so guys as you can tell i've teleported inside of my computer but we're gonna start reacting to this crazy fucking trans trender i wanted to first read you know the description God, he so he I I guess his thing is like accusing people of being transgenders, huh? So is that what we're going to get? So Brennan Beckwith, this person had two point two thousand subs back when this was recorded, or back when they made this channel. Um, I guess we're gonna see what we're gonna get. Let's read their description. Really, I, he might read it. 
I don't know. We'll wait to see if he reads it. Description of Brennan's channel so we can get a feel for who oh, he's gonna read she it. is. Or, I mean, um, A, who she is. Um, I don't really give a shit about your videos. That you oh, brother. Here we go. Um, so this person says, I'm pansexual and gender fluid. They go by A, M, and ears pronouns. Okay, cool. Ears? 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 Okay. I guess that's how it's pronounced. Um, and then he goes ahead and misgenders A. M? Misgenders him. I'm just gonna say um. Rename stream to destroying the trans Ben Shapiro because he talks fast. I, I sped him up. He doesn't talk that fast. Um, okay. Well, we're off to a good start. So this dude is just like, uh-huh. Okay. You don't identify as what I consider to be valid? Okay. You're, you're, okay. So for those of you guys who don't know, I know I've said this a million times, okay? But gender is a social construct. Gender and sex aren't the same thing. Gender refers entirely to the way in which you project yourself to society and how you identify, okay? So if you identify as something, your gender is that thing. That is your gender identity. That is what gender identity is. If you identify as a woman, you, your gender is woman. So if you identify as gender fluid, your gender is fluid. If you identify as non-binary, you are non-binary. Whatever gender you may identify as outside of that, it just doesn't fucking matter. But th but most people like this dude, um, most chuds in general, they seem to have this idea that gender expands past the social construct that the scientific community recognizes it to be, which is unbelievably stupid because it's just scientifically incorrect. However, it becomes even more upsetting whenever they like to pretend, when these people like to pretend like they're the ones who are thinking with facts and logic and who have science on their side. You don't. You just don't. You, you can say, oh, this person's an SJW because they have pink hair and they identify as, um, as, as something that you don't agree with, that's bullshit. It's it's simply not only are you a piece of shit and fuck you, but you are literally incorrect. Let's continue. Make sure not to treat gender identity as the same thing as gender expression. Um yeah. Hold on. Let's let's clarify the difference here. Hold on. We'll we'll, we'll clarify the um God, I can't uh I can't type when I have my mic in front of me. Gender identity is the personal sense of one's own gender. Gender identity can correlate with assigned sex at birth or can differ from it. All societies have a set of gender categories that can serve as the basis. Okay, so it's basically your your how you personally identify. And so I assume gender expression will be how you, like your outside, how you express yourself. Like maybe if you're personally... If you can't come out as trans, maybe your gender identity would be li or your gender expression would be lined up with your birth sex. Um, gender expression is a person's behavior, mannerisms, interests, and appearance and are associated with gender in particular cultural context, uh, specifically with the categories of femininity or masculinity. Um, but can obviously go past that, um, which also includes gender roles. These categories rely on stereotypes about gender. Okay, so this has to do with like. Just how you are outwardly, not so much how you were, yeah, how you identify inwardly. Okay, cool. God, I'm fucking hungry. I should have ate. I really should have ate something before I started this. Oh no. Oh no. That you make, but it turns out that it looks like Brennan is pansexual and gender fluid. He uses A, M, airs pronouns, but you know, it doesn't really matter. So it looks like we're gonna be. Well, yes, it does. Calvin Guerra, it does matter. I imagine you would. I imagine if somebody was like, okay, let's look at this, uh, let's look at this Calvin Guerra person, huh? Oh, they're a trans dude, and then I identify as he and him. Well, that doesn't really matter. I imagine you wouldn't have that same, that, that, uh, as good of a reaction if someone did that to you. The problem is you don't see, uh, this person as being valid because they, they, they're a crazy SJW to you, and they're a trans trender calling you she because it doesn't really matter we'll point out for the record that with every single person i've met who is not a transgender and is actually trans uh we do give a really big shit about what pronouns you call us because if you called me a she in a public situation people are gonna be like what the fuck are you fucking talking about because i don't look like a girl blair white doesn't look like a man to so the video we're gonna be reacting oh brother okay this person uh whew spicy take also um ooh. Is this guy actually about to 
pick out a channel and, and a video with less than a thousand views, an already pretty spicy like to dislike ratio, like, oof, you're about to pile on a lot of dislikes on this on this person, and, a, and they're attacking a video that's called My Gender Dysphoria and How I Cope With It. Oh boy, we're in some we're in for some good memes. Also, that is a pretty good pause. Also, whew, cleavage, cleavage central. King to today is called my gender dysphoria and how to cope with it. This video is a long time coming. This is my dysphoria and how I deal with it. So if you don't know, gender dysphoria is basically the mental illness that makes us trans people trans. Our brains experience gender dysphoria because in the womb, our brains developed as one gender and our body developed as another, which is why through hormone therapy, social transition, surgery, we transition to the other gender in order to match up our brains to our bodies because there's no way to fix your fucking brain, unfortunately. That's why I want to die. But it looks like brain- Not exactly. You're close. You're close. However, the statement that, um, Gender dysphoria is what makes you trans is not true. It actually isn't. So, for starters, gender is whatever you identify. It, it has nothing to do with you. This person's a trans man. I've already brought this up. However, you do not require gender dysphoria to be trans. However, I should also point out that a shit ton of non-binary people experience gender dysphoria very much like binary trans people experience gender dysphoria and they feel the need to um uh the the intense need to identify and to transition to the gender they identify as so do non-binary people so there's that but I, that doesn't even matter that doesn't even matter the thing is it, it's as simple as you don't need gender dysphoria to be trans it's just not in the definition it, it just literally isn't it's not As a matter of fact, let's bring up the definition of transgender, just to clarify. Transgender people have a gender identity or gender expression that differs from their assigned sex. Some transgender people who desire medical assistance to transition from one sex to another identify as transsexual. There is nothing in there that brings up gender dysphoria. Okay, I just wanted, I just wanted to clarify that he's wrong here. He's simply wrong. This is an older video, although he um he, he probably still holds these views considering his newer videos. But uh, I just wanted to clarify that. Brennan here is going to tell us about her dysphoria, and I'm pretty fucking excited. Ah, uh, misgendering, good memes. ...to hear about it, especially with her cleavage out like that. A lot of the hate comments I get, a lot of the unsupportive comments that I get are about these. <laughs> <laughs> I already can't fucking do this shit, man. She was like, these, like... So after reading some of these comments, not funny. Didn't laugh. And getting a little bit frustrated, I did realize that like I haven't really talked about dysphoria. I haven't really talked about my dysphoria very much. So I think it's time to make this video and to talk about my boobs. Talk about why. It's Whew! Our man Calvin is seething. He's angry. Hold on. So a Connery breakfast just linked in chat. People used to be to fakes being suicidal for attention. As a result, actual suicidal people aren't taken as seriously. We lose people. People fake being trans. We aren't being taken seriously. We still lose people. Big, big yikes. Who? That's a bad take. I wonder if Calvin will see this. If he sees this, I challenge him to a debate because I will literally destroy him in a debate. I guarantee it. I simply will. He's factually incorrect. No trans guy would say that. I want to say straight off the bat, I've never met a trans guy. Uh, maybe I've seen some online, but 99... Well, this person's not a trans guy, but okay. ...and a trans guys would not reference their chest as their boobs. That's fucking weird. Let's talk about my... Um... Nice anecdote, but I'm pretty sure there's trans dudes who've referenced th their chest as their boobs. I know some some call it moobs, but all right, that's very nitpicky. But okay. Sorry, I, I, also, not a trans dude. Not we're not talking about a trans dude here. This person's not a trans person, or trans dude. So okay. My body. Even when I was a kid. I, <laughs> I can think of maybe why you hate your body, and I don't think it's because you're trans. I hate being fat. Whoa. Oh, so he's an asshole, too. Not just, like, a bigot, but, like, a complete fucking asshole, too, who insults people. Just, wow. Say straight off the bat, I... 
Okay. I don't know if I... I don't know if I feel the need to be nice anymore. I've never Whew. been a trans guy. Uh, maybe I've seen some online, but 99% of trans guys would not reference their chest as their boobs. That's fucking weird. Let's talk about my dysphoria. I, I've always hated my body, even when I was a kid. <laughs> I can think of maybe why you hate your body, and I don't think it's because you're trans. I hate being fat. That doesn't mean you're trans. I hate being fat. Not liking your body because you're not in shape doesn't mean that you're trans. I hated my hair. And they never, they never claimed that. They, they never claimed that. It, where is he getting this from? Can can we rewatch that clip there for a second? Cause I don't. You're trans. I still hate being fat, but I also. <laughs> not liking your body because you're not in shape doesn't mean that you're trans. I, I hate Hold on, is this what I think it is? Is he pulling a early politics pig puncher? I think he's pulling an early politics pig puncher. So if you don't know what I'm referencing here, back when I first started doing this, like, w watching videos on stream, taking them apart, and, like, examining them, I used to, like, have this obsession with pausing it and, like, picking apart every word, no matter what it was. I just couldn't let it play. So what this... So what he's doing is what I used to do. He's like, so he's listening to this person's story and like every sentence, pausing it and like taking issue with it. I find like the the only one of my biggest examples of me doing this is back when I did the stream on ER and he was reviewing Steven Universe and I would like pause it at like every word he said when it really had like it just wasn't important. It was a stream on ER, dog whistling Nazism, the Jewish question and just racist shit and i would pause it on like a ton of stuff when nowadays if i were to rewatch that i would just let it play until the nazi shit point that out emphasize on that bring up like the evidence to show that he was in fact you know dog whistling some nazi shit and go on with it i wouldn't just like pick apart every sentence um but that's what he's doing here he's pulling a uh, early politics pig puncher as i'll call it I hated my hair too, sister. Wanting a short haircut does not make you transgender. I hated my boobs. I remember Th That's... They're not claiming that. They're just explaining how they felt growing- Hey, Tyler, thank you for subbing. They're just expla explaining how they felt growing up and, and how they- and how they felt. Not- they never claimed this was what made them trans. It's so stupid. He's just pulling this out of nowhere. Again, I just need to stop pausing this. I just need to let it go. But I don't know how long I can take this for. Before I knew what dysphoria was, this was just me hating my boobs for whatever. I hate that fucking word, yo. Can we have a counter for how many times she says boobs in the comments down below? In high school. Come on, it's not that big a deal. Like. You're really nitpicking here. Was when I started to learn what trans I can count maybe 15 girls in my school that all look like that. And Willow is the first one I think of. I will tell you guys though that if you want to know what like Willow looks like, very close to this. Like, imagine like blondish hair rather than the crazy pink. That's basically what Willow looks like. There, there was a term for it. And I had a reason to hate my boobs. It's because they don't fit my, the body. Yo, that... so you're going to go on and on about how much you hate your breasts. And they're just... The trans person made a video talking about their dysphoria and their experiences with it growing up and then you're gonna get mad about it you're going to be like huh this person made a video talking about their dysphoria huh why are they talking so much about their breasts god it's, it's almost like i clicked on a video that was specifically t talking about this huh not very smart, is he? Not very smart. I'm honestly very embarrassed that I ever liked Calvin. I'm going to be honest. I don't... I'm not going to blame any of the trans people in my audience who are, like, fans of Calvin at some point. I'm pretty sure there's a shit ton of trans people who've been fan... Like, who are now lefties, or he who even were just... Or, or, or were and still are lefties, who are fans of Blair White, or fans of Calvin Gara. Or Gara, I don't know how it's pronounced. I think I think you said Gar Gara, Calvin Gara. It's Ca Calvin Gara, right? Is it Gara or Gara? 
I'm going to go with Gara for now. I'm pretty sure, because look at the size of these channels. These are, like, really big channels. I mean, hey, at least, at least she took down Onision recently. Um, although I feel like I feel like the people who are, like, harping on Onision still are just giving him more attention. Like, I swear, it's Gera. Okay, Calvin Gera. I'm pretty sure Onision is, like, only still even somewhat relevant and only just making enough money to get by because of all the people who are still making, like, videos on him. Like, like purely that. Um, it's kind of annoying at this point. Like, he's completely irrelevant. He's, he's like, being drip-fed relevancy by Mr. Epsion and all the other people who cover him. No hate on Mr. Epsion. I'm pretty sure he's an okay dude, but... Um, yeah, if you used to be a fan of Blair White or Calvin Guerra, then it's not really a big deal, especially if you were trans and you were looking for, like, a large public figure who was also trans that you wanted to identify with, that you could, um, I don't know. You, you, you guys get what I'm saying. No shame in it. You can proudly state it. No one's gonna shame you. A lot of people in chat have already said that they used to be fans of this dude and fans of Blair White. No one's going to shit on you for it here. I promise. You're okay. You're all right. Just out. Oh my god, that's definitely a trender pose. Like, if you see someone who goes like, wait, could that be TOS on Twitch? Hold on. It can't be though, because I've seen I've seen girls on Twitch who've like been more shown shown more skin than that, right? Like that wasn't just TOS, was it? Twitch Twitch people, please, people in Twitch chat, please tell me that wasn't TOS. I really hope that wasn't TOS. Like this? They're definitely a transgender. And I remember putting on two I hope that's not TOS. And then three and four. And the, I would go to school with like four sports bras. And I remember looking in the mirror and just thinking, that's still not flat enough. It's still not flat enough. I hate it. And so much of my hatred. <laughs> towards my boobs and my hair but then I, when i was able it was a lot i don't even know why i'm laughing like i'm honestly laughing because this is so ridiculous and i just know that this person is not trans so it's me okay so fuck you and also the I'm not trans, okay? I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a trans person. You may be able to tell. So I don't really... I don't know what it's like. But I'm pretty sure what they just said there... Like, talking about how they would do that stuff is very much something that trans people do, right? Like, am I wrong? Trans dudes in chat? Is that is that something that happens? Um... Yeah, he's a gatekeeper. He's a gatekeeper. And I love how he says, I know this person isn't trans. Well, well, yes, they are, um, for starters. God, I want to debate with this person. Do you think he'd ever agree to a debate with me? He's like a hundred times larger than I am on YouTube. So, like, I, probably not. But, I, ooh. If he ever agreed to debate me, that would be amazing. Making me laugh. He's like shaking and like exhaling like <sighs> He's like fuming with rage. It's actually kind of funny. He's very childish. That's something I've noticed. Um I mean, yeah, he was like 17 at the time, but whew. I'm, I'm not even exaggerating there. Like what I just did there wasn't even exaggerating. He's genuinely hyperventilating and and just just shivering with rage. He's genuinely upset. Yep, he debate, but please uh, read up more on him. He addresses stuff like the misgendering and other vids. Okay, I'll be sure to prepare for it. I've got plenty of people who can uh, who can gather me info and stuff for if I debate him. I would love to do it, though. If he ever sees this, I'd be 100% down. Like, honestly, this is, this is like, I know you guys, like, honestly, people always get at me, like, please stop using trigger, like, that really is a mental health term. Like, this is- Hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, look at this. We have 50 Twitch viewers and 108 YouTube viewers. All you, so there's 108 of you watching on YouTube right now. All you have to do is come to the website, pigpuncher.com slash live, 
and you can talk in the custom chat and everything, and you'll count as a Twitch viewer. Or you can go straight to my Twitch. That also works, but preferably you just come to the website, and you'll count as a Twitch viewer. I want to have, like, 75 viewers on Twitch. That's my goal, okay? I don't really care about about how many viewers I get on YouTube right now. I'm trying to go for more viewers on Twitch. But okay, let's go. Actually triggering my dysphoria because I see, like, how ridiculous this is. And, like, it's it's literally triggering my personal dysphoria because this is literally mockery of real trans people. When wow! What an asshole! So this is like the whole, um... This is like the canceling ContraPoints thing, right? Where it's like... Like, so you could have a, so ContraPoints would have, like, a genuine argument from this perspective, right? That, um, when people accuse ContraPoints of being NB-phobic, when she talks about how, uh, being called they-them pronouns causes her dysphoria, that's, like, a, a valid argument. What this dude is claiming is that this person that's doing nothing but describing their experience is co triggering his dysphoria because he's a real trans person a real trans person so basically like this guy hinges his channel his entire personality when you look at his top videos on gatekeeping transness and saying he's a real trans person the, the, you know these pe these trans trenders they're not real trans people we can just sit down and laugh at them together and and, and uh I'm on the website and on YouTube because my internet blows fat dicks and can't handle 1080p 60fps Twitch streams. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's true. Um, Twitch doesn't let you turn down the um, the memes. They're triggering my dysphoria because boobs. Oh my god, bro. I'm an, I'm non-binary. I have dysphoria. Other people don't trigger my dysphoria. What the fuck? Yeah. Is that a thing? Wait, can other people trigger your dysphoria? I feel like you get like secondhand dysphoria or something like like secondhand cringe, but I don't think it really works the way he's describing it here. I'm pretty sure this is kind of bad faith. Also, um, my new video just went up. It's my uh, take on Zoe Quinn and Alec Holoka's death. Um, don't watch that yet, though. Watch that after my stream, okay? MTV happened, um, and for those of you that don't know, I was on an episode of True Life, and it was about being genderqueer, and because of True Life... She was on TV for millions of Americans to watch and look and be like, that's what those trans people are like. That's why Republicans fucking hate us. And not all Republicans. I know there's actually tons of Republicans. My dad is a Republican. He literally is so accepting of me. But this is why right-wing conservatives don't fucking like us, because they see this bullshit... And they're like, what the fuck? Because to be honest with you, like, if I wasn't me, I would be looking at this and be like, what the fuck? I, uh, mind okay. It's time for a take that I've had for a while, but I thought it might be too spicy to talk about. There are a lot of very privileged trans people, or very privileged people of any minority group, any marginalized group out there, that will literally stomp on people who are like le the, the less privileged individuals of that marginalized group right because it's like you have your like look at it like okay so you have on the on the list of trans people let's say like the most oppressed trans people are like very poor trans people of color right who are like being murdered and shit, right? On the, on the streets. Like they, they are literally being killed, right? So that's where you have like the most oppressed. And at the top of this, like the least oppressed, you have people like Calvin Guerra and Blair White who identify, they're, they're binary trans people who pass really well, have a ton of money, are white, have large audiences, and, and are basically in the best possible position. These people will fucking stomp on everyone below them in terms of privilege in order to find acceptance with groups of people who don't to, don't accept them to begin with like cuz they have to so that they can mutually shit on people who they see as being lower than them so like what Calvin Guerra is doing right here is like hey conservatives look i can shit on on non-binary people too i can shit on the sjw's too won't you accept me oh you will i've gained your acceptance enough that you'll actually see me as a valid human being and not a fucking freak of nature yay same goes for blair white that's that's basically what i've noticed i don't know if that take was too spicy but yeah 
Uh, yeah, I do. St I do see Twitch chat. I see Twitch and YouTube chat. So for those of you guys who don't know how my chat setup is, I have my restream chat here, which shows my Twitch and YouTube chats. And I can bring this little button up to show how many people are watching on Twitch. We got 63 Twitch viewers, and we have 111 YouTube viewers. Um, and then for my website chat, which is the chat I prefer you guys use, we have this. Ooh. And uh, they're right next to each other on my other screen. And I can see, um, I can see like we got custom emotes and shit. You guys, if you type pig puncher in your thing, I see it. All you have to do is type pig puncher and it'll glow blue and I'll read it. Um, you can also sub and you'll get a colorful name and all sorts of cool privileges. Like, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So yeah, I can see Twitch and YouTube chat for those of you guys who are wondering. For those of you guys who are wondering, Pig, your website lags? No, it doesn't. Potentially. In the mail when, when the cameras were there. I put it on, and there's just one moment where I was in the bathroom. I remember just thinking, like... Holy shit! Wait a second. Just to be honest with you, like, if I wasn't me... Put it on, and there's just... That's effective! Holy hell! That's fucking effective. But how... How does that work? I ain't gonna lie, though. That, like... That gives you, like, a really fucking, like, puffed... Like, not, like, puffed up, but, like... Manly-looking chest, too. Right? Like, it, it looks like... It looks like this person's been doing, um... What's the exercise? Fuck, I don't remember what it's called. It's, um... I did it when I was on the swim team a lot, uh, because I did a lot of breaststroke when I was in the sw uh, on the swim team. Uh, it, it was the thing where you do the exercises where you pull in and you pull out against weight. Bench presses, yeah. It looks like you've done a shit ton of bench presses. That's effective. Okay. Hey, I learned a new thing today. I like it. That binder was hella good. Damn, son. Yeah. Uh, could I do a response to this video after Calvin? I will keep it in mind. I'm going to try to focus this stream on Calvin, but I'm going to try to stream until at least 5 p.m. tonight. So that's a five-hour stream. So we got a while, everybody. One moment where I was in the bathroom. I remember just thinking, like, it's still not going to be fine. And then I kind of thought, it's not going to be flat enough. I kind of came to a conclusion then that I was going to have to be okay with these. I was going to have to find... That's not how that works. Let me put this in this perspective for you. He's about to say something very stupid, guys. Prepare yourselves. He's about to say something really fucking stupid. I first got a binder. Obviously, I put it on, and I was pretty flat. flat. Oh, this seems important, actually. I should probably bring this up. Um, oh, yeah, people, please don't get cheap binders. You can literally crack your ribs. Yeah, guys, and okay, so to my trans dudes in chat, if you're going to buy binder, or like any, any trans person chat, like if you're going to buy binders, um, yeah, don't. Don't, don't get cheap ones. Don't get Amazon binders. Apparently, they can actually, like, really hurt you, suffocate you, crack your ribs. Um, important service announcement. I think it's important to say that. Also, don't sleep in your binder. Okay. Um, I'll still bind over eight hours because my dysphoria is shit, but I have a timer now. Yeah, so just be really careful, everybody. Just, just want to make sure you guys are careful. All right. He's about to say something really stupid here, apparently. So here we go. not how that works let me put this in this perspective for you when i first got a binder obviously i put it on and i was pretty flat flatter than i normally was i would usually wear baggy hoodies over hoodies over hoodies i would layer sports brawls on top of my chest to make me as flat as possible to the point i couldn't fucking breathe and i watched shit like this all right she says oh it wasn't flat enough it wasn't flat enough yeah no shit okay so that's a very stupid thank you autumn thank you for making a count so that's a super ooh, super dumb point or because so what he's doing here is saying, ha, huh, your experience, that's not how it works. Here's my experience. My experience invalidates yours. That's what I want you guys to notice here. This person, I don't remember what their name is, is th them explaining their experience with their dysphoria isn't invalidating anybody. But Calvin Guerra is going out of his way 
to use his experience as a way to out to to invalidate other people's experiences. It's very very funny. I love it. Well, actually, it's not funny because it's actually extremely harmful and and detrimental to a lot of people. But in terms of how stupid it is and the fact that we can all laugh at how dumb it is, in that way, it's kind of funny. Um, my feelings are more important than yours. <laughs> yeah, basically. Are you going to make a Reddit? Yeah, I already have a Reddit, actually. So for those of you guys who don't know, r slash pig puncher exists. There's been people who've been like, who've been shitposting on it. But um, yeah, there is a pig puncher Reddit. It's r slash pig puncher. It's right here. I'm a moderator on the Reddit. I didn't make it. It has 49 members. Maybe we can get it to 100 today. I'll go ahead and drop the link to the Reddit in my chat and here you guys can go to my reddit there it is but yeah i do have a reddit okay let's continue it's not gonna be flat enough because there's still fucking piles of fat on your chest she goes it will never be flat enough so i have hey political anatomy with the two dollars says where is our debate you blocked me political anatomy i blocked you who are you? Did I block you on Discord? Did I block you on... Wait, no, I don't have this person blocked. What? No, when I bring it... Hold on. Yeah, it says to block... I can block user here. I don't know who you are, but... I... Oh! You're Extreme Dad. Yeah, no, I blocked you because you're a bad faith actor. Also, Extreme Dad, guess what? I found that account. I found that, um, I found that, uh, YouTube account that you claim doesn't exist, where you record people out of context against and, uh, without their knowledge and post it on YouTube. I found it. Let me bring it up really quick. Let's see. Very glad you came in here. Very good content. There it is, actually. You actually, you actually, you commented on it. You, you, you donated on it. Four thousand one hundred and eleven subscribers. And here's the video where you, um, where you, uh, uh, recorded Faraday without his permission. And you claim that this account didn't exist. When we talked the other night, you said that you hadn't even made your YouTube account yet. That you were actually going to go serious on. So yes, I banned you. You said I doxed people? Yeah, you doxed Faraday's mods as well. Yeah. And you claim you didn't, but you lied about this as well, so I see no reason to believe you didn't actually dox them. So yeah, um, fuck off. And I hope no other bread tuber gives you any more exposure. I actually sincerely, literally everybody, ignore Extreme Dad. He's a he's a bad faith actor who doxes people, um, records people without their permission, and I wouldn't be surprised if he's been like faking this whole interest in becoming a bread tube person. Uh, all just to uh, and manipulate people and get exposure. That, that's that been the case this entire time. I mean, you can lie and claim it's not, but I've just shown everybody that account. You're, you're talking on it right now. You claimed it didn't exist, but okay. Also, yeah, can one of my mods ban them from chat because I can't do it on the restream meme? Or can I? I can here. There we go. Someone ban him, though, if that didn't do it. I have to be okay with it. There's a thing called surgery, but you know why Brennan here doesn't want to get surgery? Because it's fucking permanent. So when she's done playing dress up and pretending like she has a mental illness, which I do, which, uh... Woo! Oh! Spicy, spicy meat the ball! Okay. So, for starters, saying that the only reason someone wouldn't want to get surgery is because it's permanent. No. Um... Sur for starters, maybe you can't afford it. Maybe you're scared to do it because, you know, it, things can go wrong. Maybe you are scared to do it or you don't want to do it because of social things. Maybe your family isn't supportive of you and you can't do it. Maybe they won't let you do it. Maybe you're too young to do it because and, and you physically can't. Um, and then, of course, you start saying this person's playing dress up because you don't see them as valid. You think they're a trans trender. So you accuse them of, of playing dress up. It's so fucking stupid. That, that was just like... <sighs> mask off mask off transphobia right there and yes you can be transphobic 
and be a trans person. You can be racist against black people and be a black person. You can be sexist. You can be misogynistic and be a woman. You can be these things. So before anybody tries to call me out for that, yeah. Whew. I thought about bullying slash debating him, but nah, yeah, don't give extreme dad attention. Friends who are all trans have, you will want them back. I want you guys to know that if this individual was transgender, had access to a binder, had a supportive family, was able to wear a binder at one point, even Larry's- Why are we assuming this person has a supportive family? They never brought it up. Correct me if I'm wrong, chap, but they never brought it up, so nice assumption there. Um, also, binders are clearly uncomfortable, they can be dangerous, and like they said, it wasn't doing enough, and they decided, maybe I should try, under, with, as their choice, maybe I should try to be more accepting of it. Maybe I should just try to accept it, for the time being at least. The fact that you take issue with this is actually really telling. Also saying you need tr tr dysphoria to be trans. Yeah, not true. Or had dysphoria, she would not fucking have her tits out like she does right now. Brennan. You are so... You are... This person calling Brennan... I, this person's name is Brennan. This person calling Brennan... Uh, 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 like a, a, a girl and, and an SJW and all that shit... Is literally freaking out. And having like an SJW triggered meltdown. Like they literally went... <laughs> earlier in the, in the video. And, and now they're, they're freaking out. Truthfully, I feel bad for you. Like, I really think that you're insecure. You are not comfortable with your body completely. But being transgender is not the answer to this. This is a serious mental condition that people struggle with. And if you can openly be on YouTube... And That's not what being trans is. Gender dysphoria is a serious mental uh, condition that people struggle with. Which this person talks about having dysphoria. They very well probably do. And then... And no, you do not need dysphoria to be trans. I'm sorry, but you don't. In front of, who have any subscribers? You have 2,000 subscribers. Probably more people have seen your videos than that. I will never believe for a second that you are transgender or experience gender dysphoria. No. Well, fuck you. As a matter of fact, I think I have a meme archived for this one. Chat, I might have a meme archived for this one. I've got a lot of spicy ones I've been saving up for a while. How about this one? This one kind of fits. Fuck you, 3,000. I don't know why I love this one so much, but I haven't used it yet. I've been saving it. I haven't encountered any, uh, I haven't encountered any really big pieces of shit on Twitter yet to just respond to this with where it would be appropriate, but I really like this one. Just, just fuck you 3000 instead of I love you 3000. All right, let's go. Let's go. amount of binders or sports bras or even surgery. What the fuck do you mean, sister? Listen the fuck. Hold on, hold on, hold on. People have seen your videos and that. I will never believe for a second that you are transgender or experience gender dysphoria. No amount of binders or sports bras or even surgery. What the fuck do you? Let them finish the sentence, you fucking idiot mean sister listen the fuck up i'm getting top surgery in 25 days from now i have a counter on my phone telling me every single day that i'm closer and closer to my own personal freedom because you know what when i get surgery my chest will be completely flat Good fucking flat there Good will be you. no chest tissue i won't have to bind anymore so i don't understand what the fuck on earth jesus christ almighty she is talking about because god i wish i had my soundboard set up right now or my voice changer. <sighs> Other trans people are different than me. <sighs> it's fucking stupid. Hold on, I got kicked out of... I got booted from the WoW server. I gotta rejoin real fast. It's fucking stupid. Top surgery completely flattens your chest. It is removal of breast tissue and masculinization of your chest. So you are just dumb to say that. <laughs> Look at her smiling. Like, if this was me and there was no option for top surgery, I would be crying. Like, I would kill myself. Will... Okay, buddy. Hold on, someone posted a picture of, of Calvin in the Discord that's apparently a good meme. That could be made into an emote. That could actually end up being made into a pretty spicy emote. Potentially. This is what Bernie Sanders looked like back when he was uh, a Chad. This is Bernie, right? I'm pretty sure this is what... I'm pretty sure this is Bernie. Yeah, Bernie was a fucking Chad back when he was younger. 
Um, but yeah, or where is it? Where is it? Where is he? There he is. That could be an emote. We might make that into an emote. Yeah, that's Bernie Sanders. He's still a Chad, that's true, but like, he could get it back in the day. He could get it. All right, let's go. Make me okay with what's on my chest. Wait, did she say that no amount of surgery will make me comfortable with my chest? Yeah, that's because if you got top surgery, you would get dysphoria. This is what trans trenders don't understand. Uh, well, well, no, so here's the thing. Dysphoria is sort of a difficult thing to pin down, right? Like, there is the possibility that no amount of transitioning, like, if you transition, you may still have some dysphoria left. You may still have things to deal with. Uh, this is a stupid argument. It's really dumb. Yeah, Bernie's hormones, birthday was yesterday. If you're not trans, if you get surgery and you're not trans, you will actually get dysphoria because trans people obviously have a disconnect in our brain and our body. So That's true. If you aren't trans and you transition physically, you probably will suffer dysphoria. We saw that with, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, fuck, what was his name? The, uh, from the fucking John Money experiment. Uh, yeah, they, they, they all bring it up. But you can't just claim this person isn't actually trans. You have no evidence to go off of. You're just freaking out and having a panic attack but okay david raymer yeah david so raymer experience dysphoria surgery, i'm happy i feel connected with myself when these people who already have a female brain and a female body get surgery they now have a female brain and a male body so they get dysphoria and i do truly feel bad for people that have a mental illness that happens to them because they really feel like they're trans but this person you're not trans like i'm trying to help you out here sister I was happy that I you're very dumb you're very dumb. You, dumb you don't know what transgenderism is you don't know what gender is you don't know what, how dysphoria works well you probably know how dysphoria works but you're you don't believe that someone who doesn't have dysphoria can be trans very stupid you're very very dumb i had this this these people surrounding me that were so supportive and loving my mom that's because you like attention cried and i cried and her mom is supportive bless her mother because if she was really trans you would probably have the best mom in the whole fucking world if she's supportive of you like this one of my best friends has been presenting as a male for his whole entire life his parents are democrats they hate Trump, but they don't support him despite the fact that he has had every single warning sign of being transgender throughout his entire life. Stop appropriating a medical condition. Like <laughs> so that's where we're at now, huh? The anti-SJWs accusing people of appropriating a medical condition that you don't even scientifically need to have to be trans that's where we are warning sign yeah nice terminology too i know i thought about calling that one out but that would have just been nitpicky my mom was a democrat before i made her into a socialist that's when she accepted me yeah the fact that this that that he thinks that democrats are like peak progressive fuck no america democrats are not peak progressive most Democrats are very conservative when you consider the politics of the world. They they can usually be some, like, socially, pretty socially progressive, but when it comes to most things, they're still pretty conservative. I'm actually angry right now. I still wasn't happy with my chest. Like, that, like that's the bottom line. Like, even though I had a binder on, and even though it was the flattest that I'd ever been, I still wasn't happy with my chest. I still wasn't happy. From that day on, I had to figure out how to be happy. How to be happy with these stupid things on my chest. I've never said that my dysphoria is as bad or worse than anybody else's. I've never said that it's as bad as someone who is MTF or FTM. You know why you don't want a flat chest? Because you're not male. AKA, you're not FTM. When I see com Jeez. So, only someone who's very stupid and a bad faith act, and just someone who's acting in bad faith, would listen to this. I'm sorry, it's very quiet, so I know you guys can't hear it too well, but would listen to this. From that day on, I had to figure out how to be happy. How to be happy with these stupid things on my chest. I've never said that my dysphoria is as bad or worse than anybody else's. I've never... Only someone who's acting in bad faith and going out of their way to take issue with something would hear that and take issue with it. They go out of their way to say, Hey, I'm not trying to minimize your experience or to say anything about your dysphoria 
this is my experience. And then to have the reaction that Calvin Guerra is about to have right here, that we're about to hear. Never said that it's as bad as someone who is MTF or FTM. You know why you don't want a flat chest? Because you're not male. AKA, you're not FTM. When I see comments that say... Well, because well tra trans people, by your logic, I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know what this person's logic is, but I assume by their logic, if you ask them, they would say, tra like, I assume he'd say he isn't male. He's a man, but he would probably say he isn't male depending on, like, how well... He clearly doesn't have a good understanding of what gen... So here's the thing. It's really hard to argue with these people, because I don't know what this dude's understanding of transness, gender, sex, and whatnot are. I don't know if this guy draws the distinction between chromosomal sex and um, the bimodal distribution of sexual characteristics, and... I don't know where he draws the line between sexual, like, sex and gender, because this guy clearly has, like, a completely skewed idea of it to begin with, the fact that he, that he's a trans med. So I don't know where he would draw the line. Um, oof. Damn, we're, we're, uh, we're almost at 75 viewers on Twitch. I want to, like, try to keep a consistent 75 viewer, uh, 75 Twitch viewers, because we can hit, we can hit partner real fast on Twitch, guys, if we do that. Because I show my boobs, I don't have dysphoria. I get, I kind of get upset. These people on the internet don't know me. I know enough. I had that. Like, I had horrible dysphoria. You, you don't. You know jack shit. Even today, I have bad dysphoria. Just because you hate your boobs doesn't mean that you have gender dysphoria. There are tons of women that don't like their chest. Tons of women who wish their chest was a little bit smaller, more able to conceal. She obviously has pretty big tits, okay? Just because you don't like that you have huge, very apparent tits doesn't mean that you want a male chest, which is why you didn't like binding, which is why you didn't completely like flattening with sports brawls. We're mistaking insecure body dysmorphia for gender dysphoria, which are two very different things. Oh yeah, I should clarify here. When I hit, I'm, if I get, when I hit the requirements, to be a partner, I'm not going to take it yet. I'm waiting for Vosh to be unbanned. And I'm waiting to average enough Twitch, like, viewers total, that if I moved to Twitch, to stream purely on Twitch, I, um, I wouldn't just be, like, a fucking 12-viewer Andy like I was back when I originally tried to do Twitch full-time. But yeah, Vosh is banned on Twitch, so if I... If I became a Twitch partner and I started solely streaming at Twitch now, I would never be able to have him on the stream um, because he's banned on Twitch and I would get banned too. ...to show this much of my boobs on camera and not feel bad. The main I honestly am at a loss for words. A loss. I, I feel bad for this girl. I really, truly feel bad for her because do I think she's pansexual? Probably. That's... that's well, I'm going to I'm going to speed this up cuz this is going on for too damn long. We're going to 175, boys. Let's do this shit. It's completely cool. You know, you can be whatever sexuality you want. You know, you're dating a guy and you're bisexual. Like, you don't have to date a girl to prove that you're bisexual. You just have to be attracted to them. And to be honest, there's a lot of people who can't transition right away. So, this girl was in a place in her life where she literally couldn't transition. She didn't have support, she didn't have resources. She she has all those things. She has a binder. She has a Transgender is a bullshit word, by the way. Fuck that word. It's stupid. For the family. She was on MT fucking V. But yet, you've done nothing to help your dysphoria. You came to terms with my dysphoria is I... Nice assumption there. Good meme. Everyone go tell Calvin to debate Pig Puncher. Yeah, do that. I'll probably... I, I want to debate him. I'd want to prepare for it because I don't know much about this dude. This is my first time seeing him, but yeah. Started to take gender out of oh, Vosh said that this is um, least... basically... Well, I can't say it because I'll get banned on Twitch too, so no, Favorite I can't. Argument that me. So, in society, God, he used that word a lot, huh? Assigned gender. Color. That's true. Certain things are socially constructed, such as color being gendered. Obviously, pink is not a female color, naturally. We just associate it with females because of the society that we live in. People don't realize that she's making this video because people were probably like, oh, well, you don't have dysphoria, so you're not trans. But she was like, well, if I say that I have dysphoria, then nobody can say I'm not trans anymore because, well, I have dysphoria now. And how are they going to know that I don't? How are they going to, you know, say that? It's not how it works. Stupido. It's stupido. That's not how it works. That I don't. Well, guess what, sis? I can see right through you. You are either faking this for attention, or you're genuinely confused. And if you're genuinely confused, I feel bad, and I highly recommend that if you're struggling with figuring out your gender, you talk to a therapist who is educated in trans issues, but that's not their whole entire field. They know things about other mental disorders so that someone like you can recognize gender dysphoria from something like body dysmorphia. Clothes don't have a gender. These are gender queer overalls. Because... No, those are not gender queer overalls. Those are overalls. Yes, clothes don't have a gender. A girl could wear this shirt, okay? A girl could wear the shirt she's wearing. A guy could wear the shirt she's wearing. A guy could wear the shirt she's wearing. There, there's like, um, th there's clothes that a lot of people wear to be kind of like, uh, Oh, uh, there's a lot of people who want to be sort of, uh, what's the term? Androgynous? I don't know what the term is, but, uh, who go out of their way to wear clothes that kind of don't signify that they identify with any gender. Um, but yeah, okay. 
in this tank top. Is he actually about to make the claim that clothes don't have anything to do with your gender? It seems like that's what he's doing here. Androgynous? Okay, cool. Not gendered, but that's not genderqueer overalls. Those are overalls. I'm genderqueer, and this is a genderqueer shirt because I'm genderqueer. Whatever clothes you're wearing right now are whatever gender you are. This is a transgender tank top. I've realized that there are so many things in this world that don't have a gender that are assigned a gender, like... That's not true, because somebody who is a male, like sex, their sex is a male. You know, obviously my gender is male, but biologically, my chromosomes will always be XX, meaning that biologically- Wait, what? Did you just say my gender is male? M male isn't really a gen- okay. Female. Does that mean that socially I'm not a male? No, socially I'm a male. Physically, 99% of me is male except my chromosomes. But developed what's on my chest because the biological components of my body. I'm not made to produce testosterone. You are not made to produce testosterone. So this is a cool argument to, for, you know, trans people and all. Nice, cool. Love it. I, I love, I love pro-trans shit, but you're doing it at the expense of non-binary people. And so everything you're saying is bullshit because you're, you're, what you're saying here is true. However, you're saying, yeah, but this person doesn't experience that. So they're not trans. And testosterone is linked to people with XY chromosomes, while estrogen, which is what forms your chest, male puberty, is linked to XX chromosomes. And don't even get me started on intersex shit, that core intersex always have a combination of traits. It's not a brand new trait, it's a combination of the two existing sexes, male and female. Females, 99% of the time, develop- ba Bados, bitos, bit, 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 talk? How did I post cringe? What there was posted cringe? You're the only one in chat who said it, so I assume it's something stupid. Is it because I said male isn't a gender? I mean, I guess it can be if you identify, like, it's a weird meme, but gender, you can make up genders. It's socially constructed. Genders are made up, so. What's the gender word for male, then? The gender word for male? I don't know, man, boy, guy, dude? Develop breast tissue in many shapes and sizes. Usually when you, so usually when we talk about, whew, okay. I'm gonna have to steal this from Vosh, but, uh. You're making me do it. You're making me do it. No, this person said pig puncher posted cringe. So, <clears throat> if you watch Vosh, you already know this, but we're going to do this real quick, okay? So, there's a lot of people out there, very stupid people, who think that sex is a binary Binary means two. That means one or the other. So you have, under their fucked up view, you have male and you have female, right? Mind you, this isn't, this isn't true. However, what they consider to make up a male is whether or not they have a peener and XY chromosomes and like, other bullshit that you see in, in, you know, males, all right? And then for females, they, they, they're like, oh, you're a female if you have a vagine and XX chromosomes and maybe boobers, okay? So this is their, their really stupid, uh, this is their really stupid understanding of, of, of sex, right? And it's completely incorrect. The scientific community does not concur with this understanding of sex and gender. However... How the scientific community does recognize sex and gender, or just sex, we're going to talk about sex here, is they they cut it off into two, like, sex is cut off into two different categories. Here we go. You have chromosomal sex, which is really fucking complicated, and is not a binary by any means, because there is not just XX chromosomes and XY chromosomes, you know, XX being what you would consider the female and XY being the, the male. There's more than that, actually. You have, like, XXY and YY and XY. Like, there's literally dozens of fucking... They're, they're pretty rare. People who have these different combinations are called intersex, but there's literally, like, dozens of fucking variations. It's just not a binary. The fact that there are outliers means it is literally definitionally cannot be a binary it's just not so even down to chromosomal sex it's not binary it is a uh, if anything just sort of a spectrum almost so we have that and that is chromosomal sex but then we have our sexual characteristics right all right here we go so sexual characteristics are on a bimodal distribution 
You may have heard this if you if you if you watch Vosh, right? And this means that no, you are not a male if you have a dick, and you are not a female if you have boobers. That's not how we do it. How we do it is you have a imagine a graph, right? And on one end you have masculine traits, and you have and on the other side you have feminine traits, right? So certain traits, certain physical traits that identi- that that line up more with like masculinity are on one end, right? And so the majority of the po- like half the population is usually going to fit into this, you know, masculine traits. The other half will fit into this, you know, feminine traits. Well, a subsection in the middle, right? I-, I drew them too far apart, but you get what I mean. We'll cross over and these will be people who like are pretty fucking androgynous. Like you look at them on the street and you're like, huh? Can't tell if that's like a a duder or a or a, like a, a femoid, just walking down the street because you, you can't tell, right? Because you can't tell them apart. Um, and we're not talking about like their gender, but their sex. So yeah, that's how sex and uh, sex chromosomal sex and um uh, uh like your your sexual characteristics works work but we got it is femoid a banned word on twitch i feel like that could get me banned hold on watch me get banned for using this word no there's little accounts named that okay there's a literal account called that hasanabi i'm an incel hold on being told to ask one more question from the girls of the server um feel free to to reject it but are you single um yeah we have a lot of philosophy girls here <laughs> i'm an incel oh incel. <laughs> nice response i like it we stand hassan male biological trait breasts are not like clothes Breasts are biological. Clothes are made by humans. I know that that's a concept that is going to be very disputed. There's a lot of cis dudes who have boobs. I don't know if you've seen it, but, uh, whew. There's, I live here in Florida where the, uh, the obesity rate's pretty high. There's a lot of cis dudes here with boobs. I promise you. I've seen it. Shut up. Obviously, only people who are born with vaginas have boobs. <laughs> so obviously... Wait, just being sarcastic about that. Um, only people with vaginas naturally have breasts on their body, except for no. you know, certain intersex people. we already so talked about it. Men will get no. to form tissue, but the way breasts work, because we use them to breastfeed children, and mothers give birth to children, are only formed by people with XX chromosomes, and people with XX chromosomes have vaginas. That word, by the way, literally, like, that's actually, like, true. Like, that, like, that doesn't make sense. I don't like it, but this is the smartest thing you said in the whole video, and you're saying you're sarcastic. I just cannot. There are people... I... I'm gonna be honest... Listen, just watching this and listening to Calvin Gara's voice actually gives me a headache. Like, I'm, I'm actually developing a headache, so much so that we're turning it up to times two. The last time I had to turn a video up to times two, we were watching No Bullshit. That should give you an idea of how bad this is. People who are male and have vaginas, there are people who are male who have boobs, and that's what the transgender community is. Okay, trans women have breasts because they take estrogen, synthetic estrogen, to transition, and they will begin to grow breasts because they're putting the hormone naturally created by people with XX chromosomes into their XY body because I've put testosterone into my body. Yes, are the breasts going to grow natural even though you have a penis, probably? Yes, but it's not naturally created by your body at birth. You had to go through the process to get on the hormones. Even surgery, you know, breast augmentation surgery, that is a cosmetic surgery, just as I was not born with a flat chest, I have to get that through surgery. I'm genderqueer, and I have boobs. We know you have boobs because they're right there. These are not female boobs. They are nice because you are XX. Your breasts were created naturally. Your body is female. Oh, you don't know that. For all you know, this person's, uh, could be intersex. You can't just, wait, so you know this person's, that's what I love it. I, I love this when I hear it from, uh, transphobes who are like, well, yeah, but it's incorrect. Transgenderism is incorrect and it's an illusion because really they're, they're a woman or they're a man because of their chromosomes, but you don't fucking know someone's chromosomes. What do you have? Like a special fucking pair of glasses that lets you see people's chromosomes? What? That. that makes absolutely no sense because genderqueer is not a biological. What was that? Holy shit! Let's re-listen to that. Your body is female. Are genderqueer boobs. What? That. that makes. That like busted my eardrums. You don't gotta get so mad, my duder. You don't have to get so mad at this person simply talking about their experiences. Absolutely no sense because genderqueer is not a biological gender. That's a sir. This is a Wendy's. Socially constructed gender that you all have made up. That is how I cope. 
You wanna know how trans guys cope with dysphoria? We're blinded for seven days straight. Think about this. A super tight, restricting compression garment meant to flatten your chest, crush your ribs to the point that you could have rib bruising. Luckily, I've never um, bruised a rib. You are advised not to wear for more than six hours a day. Imagine wearing that for 24 7. I took it off once a day for five minute showers because I was at my girlfriend's house and I could not fucking, despite my girlfriend telling me, like, it's okay, like, I want you to be comfortable. I was not comfortable. I would have been more uncomfortable with myself than having to deal with the pain of wearing a binder for seven days straight. As people's dysphoria comes in different forms and sizes, but if you are comfortable with everybody on YouTube seeing your tits, I truly don't believe that you have dysphoria. Like, say what you want, but just because you say you have dysphoria doesn't mean that you have dysphoria. You can say I'm blind, but doesn't mean I'm blind. I remember. Sure. Yeah, there's definitely people who've probably self-diagnosed dysphoria before um but that's completely irrelevant it doesn't matter um hey read my audio with the five dollars says thank you i found this guy and watched him a bit and was very disheartened by his views especially uh with gender fluid fluidity um okay cool gender queer is made up the term ha has been around since the 90s all words are made up it's been around since the 90s my duder all words are made up. In the word, in the words of uh, of Thor, I believe, all words are made up. These are not feminine or masculine. These are gender queer. If somebody's like, ah, her face, bro, funny shit I've ever goddamn seen. What was that? For you. you can say I'm blind, but doesn't mean I'm blind. I remember that these are not feminine or masculine. These are gender queer. If somebody's like, ah, That wasn't as- I thought that was like a sneeze or something. I think he like, coughed up a few of his remaining brain cells. Ow, her face, bro! Funny shit I've ever goddamn seen. All I'm trying to say is that- Whoa! Whoa, you were la- wait, you were laughing at the- at the screen you paused on? If you think that's bad, my dude, we got- I got something for you. Whew! I guarantee that one's a lot funnier than than the than the face you paused on here. Somebody sees someone out in public with their chest out, and I'd be like, "Yep, that's a girl." Because that is how I identify. And some stupid internet comments can't change that. I know myself better than any person on the internet is ever going to know me, and I am so happy. That that's true. Yeah. Yeah, you do. You know yourself better than anyone will ever know you, and you know your experience. But Calvin Gara, at the sight of you hearing this. Is fucking fuming. I just, I just looked at him. Look at his fucking face. Like, if this isn't the face of being of triggered, I don't know what is. Hold on. There's a. Is the is the resemblance? Is the resemblance not striking? There's a striking resemblance here. Look at that. Yeah. Calvin's triggered. This face should be an emote? Potentially. Should we make this the triggered emote? Let's do it. Hey, someone in chat, go ahead and, and clip this. And just send it to me or post it in the Discord. I might even make a... um. Fuck, I might even make a, uh, a room. Yeah, I'm going to make a chat in the Discord right now. Let me actually check fan art. Any new fan art? Cool. Nothing breaks. Nothing that breaks TOS at least. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make a room in the Discord, and it's gonna be called emotes suggestions. Baboom. All right. So this is the new one here. It's called emote suggestions. It's on the bottom. Everyone has permission to it. Go ahead and like if you cut something and you want to have an emote. Um, just put it here. Suggest your emotes here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, cool. I will, uh, suggest getting some of these emotes on the website. I'll ask White Nervosa to do it, and we'll get them on the Discord, too. I, I appreciate it, guys. Four years ago, I would have never been okay with this. And now I'm here. And now I'm okay with these. And I've come to terms with them. And sometimes, sometimes, I even like them. It's taken a I'm like having flashbacks. I, like, Whoa. I'm truly at a loss for words. I'm okay with having cleavage in some videos. So people commenting saying, Dysphoria will not go away. You can't just cure your dysphoria by yourself. Curing dysphoria, first of all, dysphoria will never go away. Until I like how his hair is, as, as he like pushes it around, is getting like progressively more messy. Um, whew. He's very angry. He's very angry about this trans person discussing their, uh, their experience.
be removed. I add on the part of your body that you feel though is missing or needs to be removed. My chest dysphoria will not just go away by me accepting it. No, it will not go away because this is not just something that I've made up in my head. This is something that is because my brain is different than my body because that's the way being transgender works. Invalid and that I'm not trans or that I'm not queer. You're not trans. Like you are queer. There's You're not trans. Stereotypes into the world's own stereotypes. This video shouldn't even exist because I shouldn't Why does he care so much? <laughs> well, why does he care so much? Why does he care so much? Because apparently there is a massive market of both trans people who want to step on other trans people in order to because if they because like I'm not like the other trans people I uh I, I'm one of the good ones so there's those people and then there's the non-trans people the cis people who don't like trans people who want to I guess make fun of SJWs and they're just like huh I don't care that he's trans he passes enough for me let's make fun of this SJW basically it content it, he makes money and he gets views you didn't prove it to anyone. I have dysphoria. Whoa, that was a little aggressive. I don't know the context of that. Hold on. You're not trans. You are queer. You're not trans. You didn't prove it to anyone. I have dysphoria. You should just believe people when they say they're trans. No, because you can't just say you're trans. Like that's not. You can't just say you're trans and be trans. I can't just say I'm blind and be blind. I can't just say I have cancer and be cancer. You look at the world around you. Well, yes, you can say that you're trans and be trans. If you if you identify as a gender opposite from the gender that you were assigned at birth, you are trans. That is the definition. I just I just recited the fucking definition from Google. Trans people, transgender. It, okay, being trans is the act of identifying as a gender different from the gender that you were assigned at birth. There is nothing about dysphoria in there. There is nothing about identifying as Man or woman in there. There we go. If you take into consideration what is gender, what is gender is not a social construct. Oh no! Stinky, stinky. Whoo! Whoo! That smells bad. That's a bad take. Whoo! Stinky take. Stinky, stinky take. Stinky, 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 stinky take. Oh, brother. Oh, I actually hope he still believes this. If he still believes that gender isn't a social construct, I can fucking plow him in a debate. Whew. Whew. Gender is the range of characteristics pertaining to and differentiating between masculinity and femininity. Depending on the context, these characteristics may include biological sex, sex-based social structures, or gender identity. Socially constructed. Whew. Right there in the definition. Based on... Sex-based social structures. Whoo! 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 Gender are socially constructed. But that That's why you need to point him down on transgender versus transsexual pig puncher. Do we even use transsexual anymore? It feels so cringe to say that, though. Like, I don't know. I haven't heard that term since, like, fucking uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. I don't know. Like, it just kind of seems a little... It's a little cringy, but yeah, I know, I know. I get the dis uh, the fucking distinction. At the end of the day, <clears throat> gender and sex are both very biological. Gender occurs in your brain, sex occurs on your body and physical characteristics. Done with these type of people. Appropriating something that I and many other people struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. You may say, Kelvin, why does this affect you? Like, why is this such a big deal? I'll tell you why. It's such a big fucking deal and why I'm appalled when so many trans people are completely okay with... Monte... Montegrin Patriot is literally calling for the death of Albanians in your chat. Who? Ban hold on, let me ban this cuck. God damn it. So White Nervosa will definitely have to uh will have to get on this, but Yeah, they're pretty new to the website too. But um It's kinda difficult to ban people. I'm just gonna say that the the reason for banning was cuck. There we go. Okay, they're banned. Wasn't this guy in Vosh's chat already? Potentially. But they're banned now. So we should be good. Hey, with this. this is why people don't like you. This is why it's harder to gain free surgery from insurance because they see people like this and they think it's a cosmetic procedure when really it's a life-changing procedure. If my insurance, if I had a worse insurance company, my phalloplasty for, to get a penis would cost $100,000. I'd kill myself. You will get on your way to looking in the mirror and being able to say, this is a trans body. In game. In game. Fuck, I just realized. In game, right? Calvin, in game. I'm on Twitch. You can't just say that. In game. I'm a damn well do everything I can fucking do to like my body, even to the point of fucking leg lamp surgery because dysphoria is so debilitating that it's impossible to live with it. He's really met. So he takes a lot of issue with the idea that there's like trans people out there who could potentially cope with dysphoria, 
without transitioning for whatever reason they decide not to transition for and that really upsets him like it, it like legitimately pisses him off which i guess is understandable if it genuinely triggers his dysphoria for some reason then i guess i would understand why he gets mad but i mean there's no reason for it to it kind of makes no sense dictionary definitions are arbitrary here's an academic source okay let's see this one Uh huh. In our heads, it's not physical. It's not sex. It's not. Gender is biological. Yes, in your brain, so it is biological. You are born in that way. You cannot just choose. Your body is whatever gender you are. Is whatever gender you identify as. And no um, because I don't have a penis, and because my chest is not flat, means that my body currently is female, which makes me want to die. Oh, yeah. Nobody. Not your internet comment. Not your parents. Not your family. Not your friends. The stream not didn't die, did it? Brains can't can tell you that you're a female. She's literally telling people to get over their dysphoria. I'm happy with it. The stream didn't so die, did it? Hold on. She is so happy to say that she loves her tits. This has to be a satire. Like, this has to be a joke. Like, honestly, truly, like, in life, is this, like, a joke or not? The stream's still going. I just like my boobs sometimes. Done watching this video. Before I go, all I'm gonna say is that video actually angered me. There are not a lot of videos that I watch that I am truly angered by, but this, this angered me. I'm sick and tired of trans trenders roaming the internet trying to say what trans is and what trans isn't, because at the end of the day, if there's anybody watching who doubts trans people being real, who doubts anything, um, being transgender is a condition that you are born with and you cannot fade dysphoria. It will always show up. Okay? All right. So, yeah, basically, this dude, um, he, he's a true scum, he's a transmed, he's a piece of shit, and um, he basically, from the looks of it, he's just stomping on trans people who are less privileged than him in order to help bolster his status with people who don't see him as valid in the first place, or wouldn't otherwise see him as valid. It's very pathetic, and I don't like it, but, uh, it's stupid. <laughs> well... If he ever wants to debate me, I'd be down. I would 100% be down for that.